Um, we're gonna jump straight into it today. I think the, um, the sorting and getting rid of things in today's episode is definitely gonna be the most difficult because I love craft products. I have a lot of them. I've done many crafts over the years. Um, and this is probably where that part of my brain where it's like, keep it, you will use it at some point into the future that's where that part of my brain is going to try and take over and be like, no Charlotte, you need to keep this so without further ado let's do my craft box and my other craft box so it says on here, winder, glue, scraps, eyes, key rings and crafts. Um, first thing, keeping this, this is my wool winder. Um, it's really old, but I don't think there's any other kind of wool winders out there. I had to buy this second hand on eBay dead good. You have your loose wool this side, it's threaded through here, and then roll it into a ball. Keep it. <sighs> glue gun. Keeping. I will if I find a bag. I'll put the glue gun and the... I've got a bag. I know where a bag is. projects ever. Got four. That's my first piece ever. <laughs> what a mess. I just, what a mess. Then, this was my first granny square. It just, it, oh, awful, awful. But I want to keep this to see how far I've come. Now, I don't know why I've kept this, because this, this was the first amigurumi piece I ever made. And, I mean, it's awful, the eyes are black buttons, the mouth's horrible, but I remember making it, and I was like, I've just made a ball, and I was so excited. So I'm going to keep that, but this, I don't know why I've kept it, I'm going to get rid of this, it's just a... It's just um, a little ice cream I made, but for some reason I put it in there. But what I'm going to do, instead of throwing this away, I'm going to chop it up and use the loose, um, the stuffing inside again for stuffing, and I'm just going to reuse the wool for stuffing. So I'm going to put that to one side. And then keep these. So much. Um, Halloween stuff. I do wear these for the stream, but mm. in my box. Pins. Use them when sewing. this I've never needed this extra one I'm gonna get rid of this I know it sounds daft but this one works perfectly fine they're not different sizes this person probably had a spare one from the old one so I am gonna get rid of this 
and the fray glue, keep that. Eyeballs, need those, definitely need those. The gift bags, give them away. for different size projects um, a tape measure some thread this, to be honest this could do with just being sorted out so different different threads which of course I need I do use these on a regular basis um, Needles, more thread. Um, now these are crochet hooks that I will never ever use. My hand could not handle crocheting something like this. I don't have any on me. I use clover hooks and if you know, if you crochet you know the difference but not going to ever crochet with those ever. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, still saying it, what I'm going to do is put a bag of crafting things together so when I donate them, it's like a craft box. That's just bin. Um, pins. They are noses. Little noses for my amigurumi. Um, a random heart that can be pulled and used to stuff in. Eyeballs. And then oh, the the back the backs for the eyes. Um, a needle threader. So all the stuff in here. I'm just gonna get rid of. There's lots of little like. Um, that's a bit of elastic. I'm just going to put them in the bin. A file. I think I use this file if there's any, if I use any plastic things and I need to snip them down. my sewing kit. I'm going to leave it open in case there's stuff to add to it. Um, this box is just filled with stuff that other people have given me and I've never used it. of ribbon. Like, I don't use ribbon. I have used it in the past for wrapping videos. But, like, what? Why have I got that? Now, someone could use this, so the chances are I'm going to sell. Um, I might just again put this on ebay and sell these things to someone who I know would use them. My fear is that I give them to a char charity shop and the charity shop can't sell them or they were too much and then they just 
I think they sell the material as a weight and then it just goes in landfill. So I'd much prefer, as this has been passed on to me, pass it on to somebody else who might actually use it. I might end up just passing this on to someone who is like me and then just saves it for years. I am just going to get rid of all this in one go. I don't need to go through this entire bag of ribbon. Just whole thing gone. Glitter. I think I'm going to put some of this aside for my friends' kids, my nieces, you know, like craft things. Some daisies. <laughs> and two black feathers. Oh my god. Some ugly material. Like, what is that? Ugh. No one wants that. Nobody wants that. Um, Christmas stuff. More feathers. This is definitely not my stuff. I think my auntie has done for many many years she makes her own cards birthday and christmas cards and i believe this is where it came from so this is all my aunties so i'm going to put this in a section a crafting section that can go in the bin crafting section for children my legs are going oh some more back feathers What is this? The cat buttons. A buttons. Just a box of buttons. A very pretty button. Because I've always loved this button and thought it was very pretty. Well, I'm not going to use it on anything, so I don't know why I'm holding on to it. That box of buttons can go in the crafting bag that I'm getting rid of. A Tupperware of... What are these? They're like, um, you know when you... It's, you put something through and then you spread the little legs. I, I can't think of what I'm talking about, but... Oh, there we are. So they're snowflakes. So you put them in and then you spread the two little things at the back. And then it holds... You can't really see that, but... I don't know what they're for. I don't know why I have them. They would be great for crafting stuff. A big bag of buttons. A huge selection of buttons that I've never used and never will. Gone. What's this? Bells. What I could do, actually I'm thinking I could put a Christmas bag together um, because I know some places hold on to festive stuff and then put them together so if I put like the Christmas felt, the bells, Christmassy type things together, including, no that's the kids, sequins, gold sequins, bell, I did buy these, I bought these ones, I bought these for 
something I did, I don't remember. <laughs> something. Uh, Christmas trees and snowflakes, holographic ones, teeny tiny little beads. Again, more teeny. Now I am going to keep these ones specifically because I did use these and I've separated them out on uh, when I make a, like a little life-size doll. So I made one for Dido uh, when I sent him his Christmas gift. I've made um, a couple actually and sometimes if I do a necklace I like to use these teeny tiny beads so I'm going to keep that but I'm going to put it in like an amigurumi box. Um, what else? What's this? What? Why am I like this? An empty face cream pot? That I thought I can store something in that. Let me... I'm wondering if I can store my pins in it more safely. I think my pins might be slightly safer in there than they are in this tin. Okay, so I have made use of this pot that I have clearly held on to for some years. Um, this is now where I store my pins. It's safer because it's got a screw top. It's smaller than that one, so I can put it in here. And time to get rid of the Travel Tins Barley Sugar Drops. No one was going in here for, uh, for barley drops anyway. I don't know how many boxes I'm going to get through on this video. Um, so these, I will keep these. These are stitch markers. I don't need this many stitch markers, but stitch markers are something I lose all the time. So it is nice to come in here and get them. Also, I use these to secure um, wool when I have taken it from the state you get it. Have I got any? So when you get it from a shop, it looks like that. Then you roll it into your own ball, like that, with the, um, the winder. And then you can see there, I've got a little stitch marker that basically just holds it in place. So when I go through and tidy up my yarn, um, I'm going to be using them. These are good for um, putting on these which I'm going to keep. This is my key rings. So I do make little key rings and things um, and I need them to open and close the chain. Hey, I didn't know I had this. Okay, I'm going to use this now. I do have a yellow one. It's almost always out on my desk but it's chewed up because Poppy chewed it up and I've always thought I need to replace it. I've got one. I'm going to put it there because I'm always measuring things. I don't know why that's such a bizarre thing to be doing, but I'm always measuring something. And um, also, let me find it. Let me find it for you. I didn't have to go far. <laughs> so I think this one is just a little bit, a little bit smaller. That's fine. This, I use this all the time. But I've had to, like, Poppy did that. So I've had to sell it here a bit. Put that in the bin. Replace it with a new one to do all of my, my measuring that I do all the time. I don't know why I do it. Um, a button. Let's put that in there. What did I buy these for? Oh, I bought these for making Christmas decorations of some sort. Um, I don't know, that goes in the little Christmas pile. A cro not crochet, cross stitch hook. I used to do cross stitch years ago. It is cross stitch, isn't it? I do believe it's cross stitch. 
I haven't done a cross stitch in about 20 years I don't need it Tiny little bags, I'm going to keep those because I'm going to separate the eyeballs out um, so I'm going to put that there Chopsticks Now, the reason I've got chopsticks is all of these for Basically, um, I can't remember, I think these were for, you know when you hold like a moustache or glasses up for parties This is what I originally bought the, they, That's what they were for when I bought them But these are wooden dowels and I use these when I make my little um, crochet people I just managed to get myself some wooden chopsticks and I just snap that bit off And the dowel basically goes through the body and into the head and holds it secure I'm gonna keep them. A star stamp. You put some paper in it, in that bit. You stamp it, it stamps out a star. Won't be using that, that's the craft thing for the kids And then You know what, I am going to keep these I'm allowed one thing <laughs> I'm going to keep But I'm going to put it in a different pot I don't think they'd fit in there I think that would have been too small Um Look at the tin. So this tub is what you buy from Hobbycraft. And you can get like a pick and mix. They've got loads of beads and things and you get a pick and mix selection. These are what I got to put on my little Amigurumi people. Like stars and random things. So I am going to keep a hold of them. I'm going to put a few little things into the craft boxes that I know I'm not going to use, like the little, um, not porcelain, the little thingy, I think it begins with a P, like cast scene, um, bits and bobs, so, okay, so that's good, that is going to put, on. so I'm going to put the other ones that I kept in there, And that is in a better box now because the other one kept opening and going everywhere. And then got my little baggies. This is so cute. But I don't get to enjoy them and I'm not going to display them or anything so I'll give them to someone who can do crafts with them I would have loved them as a kid but as an adult I still have that childlike <gasps> I love them, I'm going to craft with them I just don't craft with them, I don't do anything with them and then they're wasted So, that is everything So I'm going to put the things I've kept So the dowels I need My few little um Things, um, my winder, key rings and stuff, the pins, just my sentimental crochet stuff, um, this, I'm sure, straight on the top. My glue gun sticks in with the glue gun, and then over here I've got um, a Christmas craft selection, a craft selection for my friends' kids and stuff, my nieces, um, and then a selection that I'm probably just going to sell as a job lot online for a couple of quid, um, ribbons and buttons and things. Um, so that is that one done. And I promise.
Once you don't put these all back. What? Hold on, why do I keep this? I don't even know what's in here. What a, what? I mean, it's beautiful and it sounds nice, but just, just throw it away, throw it. Oh, oh, I can put the crafts in for the kids because then they could use it, they could cut it up. paper with holes in oh this is really old you know the plastic binder thing that you put in the folder a really really old one um, oh it's just a file of crap bits of paper oh. This is all going to be recycled. Like, I get why I held on to this, but I didn't even know it was here anymore. I'm going to put, no I'm not, I was going to put some of this aside. I have been using tissue paper to wrap things up that I've been selling on Vinted, but to be honest I haven't really got much to sell on Vinted anymore. So, um, that, because I am going to sell a little bit more. Fire track, possibly for some shoes. That will be good for um, the craft. stuff off in that. So anything that I could genuinely use for sticking in like a gift bag or wrapping an item up for eBay or Vinted, I'm going to put there. The rest, the rest on I'm going to put the rest. That's going to go in my recycling. And quite frankly, I don't need this. Oh! Nice paper, I've even marked it. Nice paper. Pink Charlotte. Didn't read that. Um, I'm going to see if anyone needs this at work. If not, I'm going to recycle it because it's cardboard. Now, this box. Wrapping paper. Fun to keep because this is either going to be used on video or I'm going to wrap someone's birthday presents with them. Cards, I buy, makes a cuppa. Cuppa makes everything better. Sending you a paper hug. I think I bought these to send to people who sent me gifts via my P.O. box. I don't have a P.O. box anymore, um, so I'm just going to donate them. I'm never going to use them. Stickers. Star stickers, kids crafts, glue, something I do actually use a lot of.
upstairs from working out. Um, so, a couple of years ago I decided to make cards. I crocheted my own little Christmas trees and put them on the front and I'd bought like nice brown cards and envelopes and they were the cards. Happy Christmas! I bought a little ribbon, I made the trees, I got some um some stars. <laughs> they were rubbish. I've got one, two, one, two, two left. I'm actually going to put them in my Christmas box and send them to someone next year. But I've got like, I don't have the cards to even go with them. I've got Christmas stamps, Happy Christmas. I've got um, stars, unused stamps, like just loads of stuff. The a thing that you put the stamp on, a clear purse. So much money spent at Hobby Craft. I've got three ink pads. The green, two black. They're glue sticks. I'll put them with the other ones. Um, Christmas tree stamps. Rudolph. Sleigh. Merry Christmas. Gloves. So I'm going to put them together in a pack and sell them. Um, these I'm going to use as stuffing. Then, greeting cards bags and envelopes, almond cards, blank ones. I'm going to sell them, so I'm just going to put them on and sell them. Um, all purpose glue, I'll keep that. And then that goes in the other ones. Oh. I just gotten rid of an entire box. Yeah. I've got nothing left to put back in the box. My legs are absolutely killing me. My knees are killing me. <laughs> so I've I've completely emptied that box. So turn to the right of me, you can't see on the floor there is just piles of stuff. There's no point me hanging on to these. I've got no intentions of making cards ever again. Um, might give, I might give the white ones actually to the kids because they can make Easter cards and birthday cards and things coming up with the other things I've, I've given them. You'll hear that. That is my boiler turning on because Christian's just gone into the shower. Wow. Pretty sure I'm gonna have nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna have lots of empty space. Um, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go and put these into little piles where they need to be um, for sale or to give them to the kids to do crafts with. I know what some people are thinking, you're just giving your rubbish to other people. But as a child who loved crafting, I know that the other kids that I'm gonna be giving these to are gonna love crafting with them and then obviously they just get like chucked or whatever so it's best they are used for crafting and stuff and then get chucked away rather than just tossed away immediately or recycled or whatever. Um, so yeah, next one I'm probably going to be going through my drawers and possibly looking at some filming equipment. There's going to be a lot of pens and pencils and things going. <laughs> this children's craft box is actually, I'm just going to fill that yellow box. I'm just thinking that file folder. I'm just going to put all of the cards and the stickers and the envelopes. And then I can just hand it over as one big box. And it can be used as a craft box. So, thank you.
you so much everyone for watching today's video let me know how you're going if you are doing the same um, let me know if you are also a crafter and have everything you could ever need for like 17 different crafts I'm dreading to think what other things I've got and what other crafts I've tried to do and I've completely forgotten about anyway I'm gonna go now thank you so much